welcome to my channel, Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia, and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 261 pounds. I offer you daily encouragement towards your health goals in less than 10 minutes. I also, each week, show you all of the food that I have in my house, plus all the unhealthy eating choices I made when I was out and about. And we also grow microgreens together. So tomorrow we will be planting some microgreens so that we can have fresh nutrition at our fingertips. Be sure to have your soil and your seeds as well as a container that's at least two inches thick. And that's something that you can poke or burn holes in for proper drainage. You can have something inexpensive like these takeout dishes, or you can do a fancy ceramic planting pot. So let's chit chat about suspecting adventure. Most people, when they are trying to lose weight, kind of turn into Rambo mode, or they are super psyched up about some new diet that they're going to try, or they might be hating it. I want to encourage us to look at this health journey from a positive perspective, not a perspective where we have to go gung-ho or be a little bit crazy about what we're pursuing. That's one end of the spectrum. Another end of the spectrum is where we are dreading it and we feel lost and confused. Like this is what somebody might feel if a doctor tells them, go on a diet or you'll be dead very soon. So you got the gung-ho people on this side that are kind of outrageous. And then you got the people on this side who are dreading the life changes that they're gonna make. Let's not be on either side of these. Let's kind of look at this journey from the perspective of a vacation. I know that that sounds kind of foreign, maybe pretty weird, but rather than looking at the deprivation aspect or the what I can't have, what I can no longer have, what I have to do, why don't we try to do some things that are exciting? Like for me, I keep telling myself I'm going to buy a mini trampoline. And at first I couldn't buy one because my weight was so immense that the ones that could support me were very expensive. So there are other ways that we can attempt to find fun, adventure, or playfulness on this journey. I'd like you to consider five ways that you can do this with your health journey. For me, one way is the trampoline. Another way for me and my journey is coming up with easy vegan meals. Another way is trying different types of spices and fruits. A fourth way is trying different infused waters. Since I'm working towards drinking more water each day, I can try clove infused water, fenugreek infused water, hibiscus flower infused water, 
And a fifth way that I've made my weight loss journey more adventurous is talking to you. Woohoo! Starting a YouTube channel. So I'm not saying that you should go out and start a YouTube channel or <laughs> try to write your own cookbook, which that might be fun, you know, making your own. Like if your name's Melissa, come up with Melissa's Weight Loss Cookbook. So, you know, I just want to encourage you because the people that tend to be really gung-ho, from my experience, don't end up sustaining that lifestyle. It's, it's like a firecracker. It's very short-lived. And the people who are dreading it, we kind of know how, what ends up with them, right? So let's find adventure in our weight loss journey. And I'd like to report to you that I was successful in meeting my, um, my 2023 goals. I have not drunk my 60 ounces of water yet, but I give myself on Sundays the full day to drink that because I don't like to drink it before church and I have church twice on Sunday so I like to just drink a hundred ounces of water throughout the day but not 60 ounces in the morning because I don't want to disrupt the church service and I did eat four servings of raw vegetables for breakfast and I've already gotten my hours worth of exercise in. And I'm completing my goals at 97% of the time. So I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote that's titled Bright and Beautiful. Bright and Beautiful. More than what the eye would expect you are beautiful, holy, and true, illuminating majestically my love through the things that you do. Powerful, radiant, bright, too much, some would say, yet your undeniable heart for me leads others to consider and obey. You won't dim, you brightly shine, you refuse to mask your power. Faithful, readily available, can be called upon at any hour. Accessible to all, rich, poor, the haughty, or the meek. Willing to be used as an advisor or a washer of travelers' feet. No diamond in the rough, you band with others whose lights fervently shine leaving a testimony to the world of Jesus, the great divine. No stranger to trouble, you know the road to obtain perfect peace. Through trial and error, repentance and forgiveness, your trust in him hasn't ceased. Continue to shine and be used, for your hour has not yet come. Radiantly fulfill your calling. Be crowned and hear God say, well done. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to have your microgreen things ready. Bye.